I walked into this week on Great Lakes Golf today, sitting here at uh, the uh, veranda overlooking uh, the holes here at Red Hawk Run in Finley, Ohio, and uh, it's going to be our show this week. I got to tell you, the course is looking phenomenal, and uh, we took the drone up last night uh, as, as the sun set. It was absolutely gorgeous, and I'm uh, really looking forward to this week's show. We'll uh, be talking to the great folks here and uh, a little bit about the first tee program also. Uh, Hancock County has probably one of the best uh, first tee programs and uh, Cooper Tire has uh, been a part of it and made sure everything's gone real well with that. And uh, Dan Sutton will have a great golf tip for you here. And uh, hey, also don't forget uh, Saturday mornings from 8 to 9, uh, we're on 106.5 The Ticket, ESPN Radio at its best, live each and every week at a different course. Uh, Saturday mornings we uh, sit down and uh, oh, you can call it interesting. I, I don't know. It's slapstick golf at its best. I think that's what it is. And uh, got a lot of things coming up here with the Marathon uh, Classic. And uh, we'll be uh, live out there Saturday and Sunday uh, from like uh, 8 in the morning till 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. So uh, talking to the great professionals out there. So enjoy this week's show and uh, sit back and relax. It's going to be an hour of great golf right here in northwestern Ohio. Well, once again, welcome to Great Lakes Golf today here at beautiful Red Hawk Run in Findlay, Ohio, here with Director of Golf, Mr. David Prim. Pleasure. How you doing, buddy? Good, Mike. How are you? Uh, not too bad, not too bad. I got the pleasure of coming out here last night, and uh, you know, I uh, talked, of course, to the owners, Mr. Cook, and uh, yes. I, I always consider it a pleasure to come out here. Well, we appreciate you coming out. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and uh, and as you're going to see a little bit later in the show, and we'll we'll tease you a little bit as we're talking because yeah. you really don't want to. I mean, you're a good-looking guy. I mean, you don't want to see us. You know, 90-20 here, it, it kind of <laughs> messes everything up. But seriously, the uh, gorgeous. I've never shot a course at night or as the sun was going down. Oh, really? It's always been First mornings, time. always doing the mornings. So we came out here last night, worried a little bit about one cloud band that was yeah. bugging me the whole time. And I thought, oh, I'm going to probably have to reshoot it. But it turned out gorgeous. And uh, just kudos to uh, you know all the great people out here. You've just got a wonderful, wonderful course. Well, we appreciate your time. We really do. And I know for you, this is, uh, you know, give us a little idea about David and uh, where you've been. Uh, you're already turning me on to some uh, pretty good golf clubs here. Oh, and, absolutely. Uh, I got my seven iron in the car. I just wanted your opinion. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what type much, of seven iron is that? Uh, well, let's, yeah. I'll leave that alone. I, I, you know what? <laughs> I've had my clubs built because, you know, I'm that big, tall, goofy guy. As should everyone. Everyone should be fitted for their clubs. But I've always, I, I get some pros that have told me, oh my God, you got to have two inch longer clubs. Oh my God, no, you need a standard club because I got monkey arms. Uh huh. You know, and it and it feels like I'm I'm doing the you know I'm I'm coming in with the old chicken arm because I'm afraid I got torn rotators. Yeah. So, but I'll tell you, uh, we'll look at that a little bit later. That oh, will absolutely. not be on the show, I guarantee it. <laughs> but uh, uh, coming out here, and I got to talk to a lot of the people that were on the course, and they, they, it's like their home. It is. It is. We, we consider ourselves a tight knit family around here. It, you know, you 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 were talking. You said you're from the Van Buren area, and uh, uh, give us a little idea of your golf experience and what you've been able to do. Absolutely, I went to a school in Hilton Head, South Carolina. Oh, you lucky dog! I don't know why I came back. I, uh, no, we're North glad Ohio. to have you. Well, yeah, I'm glad to be back home. Um, originally from Kenton, Ohio. Mm -hmm. um, Went to school down there, and then the past seven years, I was an assistant pro at Finley Country Club here oh, in town. Fantastic. So this is my first year as director of golf here at Red Hawk Run. And what are the what are the things that you know? I've talked to uh, most of the, the the golf pros this year with the, with this weather, and yeah. and I, I I don't see. I mean, you're set up to be dry. Yes. I mean, that's right. how you're We're a link style course. Exactly. So exactly. We're set up to be dry. We don't. We prefer it not to be brown out there, but mm -hmm. we can handle that as well. So. Well, I, the greens were all in just phenomenal shape cool. and uh, yeah. lightning from what I was hearing. Yeah, so. absolutely. We're, the, I, shape's in great, or the course is in great shape right now, as you know. But what do you, uh, I, I know you have to attribute a lot of that uh, to the planning that went into this course. I know you switch your front and back nine around and uh, yes. and you were able to, you know, there's never any playing slow time here. No, we're we're busy the majority of the time. So, the reasoning be behind switching the nines was in the morning you have the sun coming up from uh -huh. 
from the east and the first two holes are a little more difficult than hole one and two as of now so right. with all that in in mind we decided to switch the nines a couple of years ago well i know and uh we're going to be talking to anthony uh, uh brock yes. a little bit uh, about the first tee program that Absolutely. you have here has to be the most top-notch first tee program uh, in the area. You know, we've talked to Adam Rainey up in uh, for the Lucas County program, phenomenal program. Yeah. But you were able to get Cooper Tire involved with what you're doing. That was big. That was very unbelievable big. facility. It is. It is. We're in the we're in the works of making a, a training center on our first tee train Cooper Tire first tee training center with uh -huh. um, an actual pavilion there that will turn into a uh, training center with. Um, a hitting base inside, and that's in the works. So look for that in a couple of years. Well, so. it's 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 not that far away. If you're coming down here, uh, it's in Finley off of 224. And uh, uh, now that your road construction's getting a little bit better, and it's ours is north, just yeah. oh, jeez. I'm telling you, I knock on wood. Coming down here, the last two times I've come down here in the last two days, I have not had one iota of problem. Well, let's hope that stays the same. I know. We're doing our radio show Saturday <laughs> morning here, folks, and yeah. I can just see me coming in here at 6.30 because you get in an accident. I mean, it's it's just uh, shut you're, down. You're done if you're getting an accident. <laughs> you might have to take 25 through BG. Yeah, I've done that a few times. <laughs> yeah, so traffic's bad, but you know... As you come down for the south, we do have a great facility here. We're mm -hmm. only about 45 minutes from Perrysburg, an hour from downtown Toledo. Yep. So yep. Yep. It's, it's, it's not too bad, you know. We, oh, it really isn't. Yeah. And, you know, we tease about it a lot. And I know Jim and I talked about this last year. And, of course, Jim's son is John Cook. John Cook, yeah. He's playing, still playing on the senior. He's playing on the senior. He's doing a little more with Golf Channel now, so mm -hmm. he's very busy. Yeah, he's, on, he's in and out. So. Yeah, he's very, very handsome man, doing the right things there. And, Absolutely. Uh, and uh, I, I haven't had a chance to meet him yet, but Jim's setting that up for me. I'll oh, be real excited to have him on the show. He should be here for one of our first tea nights, so we'll make sure we let you know when that is. Well, we're going to be down here for that for sure. Yeah. And, and you know, one of the things, too, for your average everyday golfer that comes down here, yeah. maybe as they watch some of this footage and they're like, wow, that's a tough course. Man, this is tough. You have, you know, Arthur Hills was able to design the tee box setups. Yes. To It's not, you know... It, the white green, you know, it, it's not like you'd be hitting from a ladies tee type thing. Correct. You, you know, and you'll tell people as they come in there for their first time to play. Oh, absolutely. If I were you, you, you know, if you're a, you know, 15, 20 handicapped golfer, I'm going to hit from here. Yes. Uh, so there is a program called Tee It Forward. And okay. we're all for that. Um, at, at Red Hawk Run, there are some holes that you have to have a force carry into the actual hole. And mm -hmm. a lot of courses, you can run it up there. So yeah, our course can be difficult to play. But from the property, it's enjoyable for everyone. Well, so, I know, oh, go ahead. No, I, so a lot of people incorporate the red tees as a ladies tee. Right. And that's not so. Uh, red tee is for anyone who wants to play from that. It's yardage. just that distinction. What would you rather have in your hand, an eight iron or a five iron? What it doesn't matter with me. With? It doesn't. You know, well, like we're going to work saying. on that. So just <laughs> give but me I a couple get, of yeah, times. I get what you say. You want the loft. You want to be closer. And you so we want to tee it forward. So uh, from the tips, it's about 7,200 yards. That's a pretty big bite. It is a big bite. We have a lot of people that try it for, for on the front nine, mm -hmm. and then they switch to the golds yeah, going back. Yeah, they'll go so. back, right. And you can play from the whites, which is our member's tee. A majority of them play from that 6,400 yards. Um, if it's your first time out here, I would probably recommend the whites. And for a higher handicap, the uh, orange. Well, and you do have memberships available for we the course, We do have memberships too. available. Um, we, we prorate them. There's a a payment in the beginning of the year and during the middle if you want to come out we can still accept a, a half year membership oh it's, fantastic it's roughly 900 dollars full membership that gets you golf car and range for you and your spouse wow uh, that's just that's the deal of the century if you golf more than two or three times yeah. a year and, you're, and you're Toledo, making money. we do have a hawk card as well uh -huh. which is a hundred dollars and anytime you come out to play it's only 26 dollars for your round including card wow so wow. it's a good commitment, for, and you can also play in our tournaments with that hot card. Well, so. I'm, I'm going to have to get in a couple of these tournaments. I'm going to get some of my buddies, and we're going to come down. And yeah. I, this, this, I have to uh, a videotape a wedding this weekend. Okay. I, that's, my, that's what I actually make money on. Oh, the, like you that. don't make yeah. money on us, do you? Yeah, and uh, 
And uh, after that, I have nothing. So Saturdays, I can actually golf. Yeah, Mike, go ahead and get that hot card, $100. Come down here, bring your buddies. It's $26 per round after that. And get into my Callaway or... Uh, Callaway or Titleist, I would recommend for those. So. Yeah, that's what we were talking, and I, I got a minute here. It's uh, I had a lot of trouble with my irons this year, and uh, and uh, they're custom-made clubs. I just can't hit them. And, and you, you had a really good, you're saying that these Callaways and the new TaylorMades and stuff, they, they're really forgiving. They are very forgiving. So an AP1 is a more forgiving club. Mm -hmm. uh, they have AP2 as well. That, that's a Tylist iron. And I would probably recommend that or the Callaway X-Pot Pro. So That's good. I am so thankful that we were able to put this show together. And uh, when I, the day I got my drone, the first thing in my thought was, man, I can't wait to see what Red Hawk's going to look oh, like really? on this. We're but I already teased you. you, didn't I? You did, you did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, we'll be back. Uh, Anthony's going to take us out on the course. 18 beautiful holes you're going to get to see from at least 150 feet up in the air. It's just going to be great stuff. You're watching Great Lakes Golf today. Components Plus has been supplying quality golf club components to club builders across the U.S. and Canada since 1989. Located in Southeast Michigan, adjacent to the Legacy by Arthur Hills Golf Course and Claire Batista's Golf Academy. Now our showroom is open year-round with demo clubs, features, and our newest products available for the customer to try before you buy. Let Components Plus help with your own club building ideas. Do you ever drive around the neighborhoods just to look at the houses? I like spotting the ones that have been around the longest because they remind me of the amazing legacy I'm part of. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank. For over 110 years, our bank has helped families buy and build their homes. And all that time, one thing hasn't changed. At Genoa Bank, we believe that when we put the mortgage needs first, the rest takes care of itself. Genoa Bank, taking your banking needs personally. Since 1982, Red Wing Shoes at North Reynolds and Bancroft, selling purpose-built footwear for men and women no matter what your job is. Carrying the largest selection of Red Wing Shoes in Northwest Ohio, over 3,000 pairs of boots, shoes, and accessories in stock to ensure the proper orthotic fit and style for your line of work. Stop in and see Mike, Aaron, or Bob at their newly renovated office. We're easy to get to at the corner of North Reynolds and Bancroft with ample parking. Red Wing Shoes, Reynolds and Bancroft, where service quality and fit come first. Hey, it's Bob France. Are your clubs cleaned up and ready to go? Then let's talk about Brandywine, the only all-inclusive private country club in Northwest Ohio. You know, people are always taking all-inclusive vacations to save money. Well, at Brandywine, you're on a constant all-inclusive vacation. Unlimited golf, cart, pool, fitness, and all the social events, including the amazing pool parties. It's so refreshing to play a private club where there's no surprises. The new Brandywine Country Club, featuring 18 holes of Arthur Hills Design Championship Golf on a layout that is spectacular. Par 72 now, three par fives on the front nine total yardage of 6639 a challenge for great golfers but fun and playable for the rest of us too and one of the best things about joining the all-inclusive private brandywine club is that you never have to wait for leagues to get out of your way because there's only one league at brandywine yours and don't forget about the amazing restaurant champions bar and grill reopened in the summer of last year and is now open to the public call 419-865-2393 for all the details and if you join by may 31st they'll waive the initiation fee join me on the course and at the club this year at the all-new all-inclusive brandywine country club Glad to help. See you soon. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genoa Bank. At Genoa Bank, we believe there's more to a financial institution than the transaction. There's the relationship. Taking your banking needs personally is our top priority. We offer many helpful financial options for local families, farmers, and small businesses. Because we're locally owned, we take the time to get to know you personally. You might say we're just a loan call away. Genoa Bank, taking your banking needs personally. Once again, welcome back to Great Lakes Golf today. For over 20 years, I've been coming into your living rooms. Yes. Maybe even the family room, sports room, maybe even in your bedrooms. Man cave. The man cave. Oh, that's the what man I mean. cave. Speaking of man caves, 
Anthony Brock, you know, I'm going to put all of your businesses down at the bottom there, but I'm going to have to do it in such small type. I appreciate it. You have to, you know, you, you help run this, you work with Jim, with his business, and then you're one of the instructors for, like I was telling uh, David, one of the best first tee programs by far. Thank I, you. you. You appreciate guys are doing like... really good stuff. And, uh, yeah. And he's well, a hell of a it. golfer, too. We've had him on our uh, Aurora project. Uh, yes. Golf outing. Uh, Great outing at Toledo CC. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Keep that red bat phone ready. We, I will. We're probably yeah, gonna, you, and I'm sure to we'll me talk me about yeah. that on the radio show. <laughs> 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 no, what, you're a very good golfer. Thank and, you. Uh, the, Aurora, the Aurora golf outing at Toledo Country Club is coming up. I want to make sure I say this for them. Sure. The Aurora project. Uh, they've uh, just uh, just an absolute great place. And uh, Robert Robinson and uh, all the great people over there. We thank them for that. But uh, Anthony, I uh, talked to you last year. Uh, I, first of all, I got to thank you for, you don't even, I, I mean, you saved my life. You guys really did. I Because I got that. really sick when I was down here. I understand that, yeah. And if it wasn't for me being down here, I wouldn't have gone to my doctor to say, hey, you idiot. Yeah, and right. now I'm, you know, 90 pounds lighter. I feel great. And, uh, yeah, I can tell the difference. It's, I it's can't obvious, yes. hit the golf ball. I hit the 300-yard drives, but <laughs> you just can't hit this. But uh, seriously, though, Red Ox looking wonderful this year. And, uh, yes, good shape. You're really stepping up this uh, uh, first tee program. I, I can't tell you how many people. We came out, we got the drone, a little bit of drone footage. I didn't want to bug you guys. Then, sure. What did you have, like? 60, 70 kids there? It yeah, la last night we had around 80 kids. Um, the program is going year by year. Um, we'll, we'll be well over 100 kids before it's all said and done this year. And it's just a great youth golf organization. The, the first tee is a class act from start to finish. Amen. It really is. We enforce core values on the kids. Um, we teach them core values on the golf course. Right. They take the core values home and practice them there as well. So it's, it's just a positive youth building experience for all the kids. Well, I, I'm really proud of what you guys have put together here. And I know it's just Jim's baby. Jim. Yeah. Cook loves what he does for these kids and yes, uh, having Cooper good. Tire getting involved with you has really helped yeah, you out. Yeah, Roy well. Arms and Cooper Tire have been absolutely instrumental in, in what we're doing here with the first tee. It's been a privilege working with them on it. Fantastic. Well, when we uh, uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about that, but uh, you know, I have to I got to hit this button and I got to start right now. It's time to go out on the course. Let's go. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous and uh, hole number one is, uh, you know. David and I were talking about they switched the front and the back nine we did. here, and, and now I get it. I know why now. Yes, number one is, a, one, it's an easier hold than number 10. Number 10 and 11 were straight into the morning sun. Right. So that's why we changed it besides the, the fact that hole number one's easier. Hole number one has a big open fairway. Um, you can hit driver um, and, and feel free to hit away and leave yourself a wedge into number one. A little bit of an elevated, elevated green with bunkers guarding, um, but with a good second shot, it's, a, it's an easy par and on to start your day. Well, what, uh, with what you've uh, put together there, I mean, what, how, how are the greens? I mean, getting off of that first tee there, we got any undulation in the greens or is it, you know, a, Hole number one. Jesus with one. Hole number one. There's not a lot of undulations. There's a mound in the middle. Okay. Um, if the pat, if the pin is back left, you want to be on that side of the mound. If the pin is front right, you want to be on that side of the mound. Make for an easier putt for you. Always want to leave yourself below the hole out here at Red Hawk. Well, that seems to be one of the the big things about it. Of course, the sand is immaculate. I have a way of getting into the sand all the time. And yeah. You can get out of it. You can get out of it. And that's you can. a really good yes, thing. Yes, it is. And uh, and the the fairways are just uh, yeah, as you can see, folks. They're striped perfectly. And, they are uh, very they good really shape good. right now. Yes. Uh, explain, explain to me uh, hole number two here because, uh, I, I mean, with it being a link style course, I mean, you, you really want to target that first shot to get you a good second shot in. Yeah, the, the course tightens up a little bit on hole number two. Um, there's water left. Right. Um, there's no miss there. There's tall grass right. There's no miss there. Priority here is on hitting the fairway. It's a risk-reward tee shot. If you want to hit driver or three wood, you can have a wedge in. I don't recommend that. I recommend right. hitting an iron or a hybrid off the tee. Um, again, priority on hitting the fairway here. There's just no good Where do you want to be? Golf. Where do you want to be with that, that tee shot? There? You, you really want to try and be, uh, if you right want to leave a short shot in, right, right about 150. Um, there's a peninsula um, that peeks out into mm -hmm. the pond a little bit. Ideally, if you can hit it on that, if you're, if you're feeling like uh, you want to be aggressive, hit it on the peninsula, leave yourself uh, 120 or so in. Um, the green does undulate here a lot. Um, there's, there's a big mound in the middle. Right. The pin's usually left or right. You just want to make sure you're on the good side of the mound there right. um, to leave yourself a makeable birdie putt. Um, the bunker left is no fun either. Um, th there's bunkers all over this course, have you seen? Um, there's bunkers right at this uh, green too. Um, they're not really in play. It's the bunker left that's of concern. And, and again, wherever the pin's at, you want to stick to that side of the screen to leave yourself a makeable putt. 
Hole number three is uh, my good friend Dave Truman's nemesis hole. He tin he tin cupped this hole. I talk about it every time we're down oh, here. Oh yeah. And he gets mad at me. We'll talk about it on the radio. Uh, if he, he got at the black tees there, yep. and and literally put 20, 25 balls, and, and you can do that. Well, from the black tees on on this particular hole, it's all force carry. It's two hundred and ten yards over the pond. How do you, there's no way to keep it on the green, is it, there? It's it's tough. It depends on where the flag is. There's right. a huge undulation on this green. There's a back portion. There's a front portion. If the pins on the back portion, you got to be there. If the pins on the front portion, you got to be there. The main thing is getting over the water right. and and getting on the green. Over back is tall grass. There's bunkers left. There's a bunker yeah. right. You're on or you're in trouble. Yeah, Either yeah. You way. gotta you gotta hit this green. Um, from the white tees, it's more fair, not as much of a forest carry, but from uh -huh. the golds and the black tees, it's all forest carry. And you just got to pick a good number and focus on really hitting the green. Put it somewhere on the green, sure. or else there's nothing but trouble out there. Wow, wow. Yeah. And, and it is. It's a very tough hole. And even even with the other pin placements, you're going over water no matter what. You're going this. over water no matter what, yes. Yeah. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a forest carry no matter what on this hole. I love this hole, Dave Truman, and he'll he'll swear it didn't happen, but right. I, I a, for you just opened this course and I was here and, and he'll tell me that didn't happen but it did right I believe you <laughs> hole number four you got you're coming out of a lot of woods right at the beginning right there as you get out there but yeah kind of lays up I mean it's par five is this a birdie hole this is a birdie hole if, if you're a bigger hitter okay, okay. Um, there is a bunker guarding right you don't want to miss a fairway right if you hit it too long left there's two bunkers guarding there if you're a big hitter, this is a reachable par five. Gotcha. If you don't hit a good drive, there's a creek guarding the green here. Um, I strongly recommend a layup short of the creek. There's a lot of guys that try and lay up on the other side of the creek. That just doesn't make you sense. Just can't do it, if right? you're going to lay up, go. go ahead and leave it short of the creek. If you're going to go for it, there are some good misses. There's a big mound guarding the back of this green. So if you're going to go for it in two, you can hit it a little long. Hopefully, you don't hit it too long, and the mound will kind of catch your ball and feed it back down on the green. Get yourself on the green. Is this, this is a little bit of the. Is this, a lot of undulation in this green, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's a lot of undulation. It's a big one. Yeah, th th it's a really big green. We got a lot of big greens here at Red Hawk. Um, yeah, they're they're all undulated. This one has another mound kind of in the middle of the green, and we really designate the pins. Um, make sure you check your pin sheet in the cart, um, so you can know where you want to leave the ball to give yourself a good look at making a putt here. Yeah, that's perfect. That's a beautiful hole, and I just uh, you, you you gotta make sure you can hit the ball straight here, especially yeah. this time of the year. Yeah, yeah. everything's growing. There, there's no real good misses out here. Here at Red Rock, it's all risk reward shots. There's always a bunker or tall grass in play, so you got to make sure and get off the tee good. Well, first of the par threes here, and uh, it, <clears throat> once again, you've got to be able to hit it straight because you, you really don't have any areas. You can get yourself in trouble real quick on this. So hole. You can get yourself in trouble on this hole. It's the bunker that's down right. You, right. you don't yep. want to miss this hole down right in that bunker. Um, the green's about I don't know eight feet above the bunker down there. So if you leave yourself in that bunker, a sand save there is is, is one in ten. If you're a good player, it's just a tough bunker shot. Um, the hole's very fair. It's not it's not one of your longer holes. Mm -hmm. It's not like number three where it's 210 yards. Right. Even from the tips here, you're 165, 175, depending on where you place the tee. Um, again with the green, this this one's from back to front. You want to leave yourself below the hole and, and keep yourself below the hole um, to make a good putt on this hole. Uh, left, um, there is more tall grass. Um, emphasis on all our par threes is hit the greens and you're in good shape. There's not a whole lot of good misses outside of that, really. Now that what it, what is the play uh, uh, rules? For how, how much time can you uh, you know if you do get in the big stuff. Well, that depends on who you're playing with, Mike. <laughs> Rules dictate about five minutes, but uh, I can't call for yeah. <laughs> if you want to, if you want to keep up the pace of play, right, right. give yourself a two minutes, let your partners go I'll play their shots and, and on with your day. Well, before we get to number six, uh, that, yes. that was the second part three. See, I yeah. never think of number three as being a part three. Right. It's my nemesis. Yes. Hole, so We've got to get you out here playing more. That's yeah, all. That's, a, that's exactly what it is now. And uh, we, we are on <laughs> hold. Thank you, I clarified that. Yes. So now all the, the golf gods are on our side. Here right, now. there you so go. Hole number six is, uh, this is a beefy hole. This is uh, It's this a tough hole. It's our number one handicap hole yeah, here, Mike. Um, explain how to play this hole. Um, th there's a couple different ways how to play it. One, you can lay back off the tee. There's a bunker that's left. Um, if you're a big hitter, you can hit it into that bunker. Okay. Um, the miss right, there is room there. Um, the fairway drops off kind of the earth there, and there's kind of a valley down to the right of hole six. It leaves for a really difficult second shot. In. Um, like number two, the priority here is hitting the fairway, and it's a fair hole. Mm -hmm. But you got to get 
off the tee. Um, the green here is tough. There's a bunker guarding it left. Sometimes we tuck the pin back left behind that bunker. Um, with the green the way it is, um, sloping from uh, back to front, right. um, and a big undulation in the middle, again, emphasis on being on the right side of that undulation on this hole, or you're going to leave a big breaking putt. Some of these putts on this green I, can I, break five, incredible. six, seven feet. Yeah. Um, and, and with the greens running as fast as they are now, it, it's, it's a difficult hole to make birdie on. It really is. Well, hole number seven is uh, it, really some neat footage with this. I think we had some golfers that were uh, out on this hole. Great golf hole, yeah. <laughs> but it's actually, you have double fairway here depending on, you know. Yeah, it, that's what makes this hole fun. Um, it's, it's a shorter par four, but there is a double fairway in the bunker splitting the two shelves. There's a top shelf fairway, bottom shelf. The bunker is huge <sighs> between the two. Yeah. Massive bunker. You can hit an iron down on the bottom shelf and leave yourself 140, 150 in. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling more aggressive, if you're a big hitter, um, you can hit a three wood, four iron driver up top driver. You can go for this green. Right. You can actually hit it on there. If you hit a big draw with a three wood, it can roll nice up on there. Right there yeah. yep. If you go at this green, um, you'll just leave yourself in the bunker with a green side bunker shot for your second shot. Total risk reward hole, and it's a lot of fun. Well, this hole too, it's uh, it, <clears throat> I see a lot of people that, you know, they with their slices and their, their hooks and their draws. Right. Most of the people that are hooking it are winding up down low. Yes, which is still a reasonable Dave shot. Truman. Yeah. No, just, <laughs> it's, it, it's still a fair shot in. What, what you want to do is place an emphasis on what you're trying to do. Right, right. If, if you miss this hole right, there's tall stuff. If you miss this hole left, there's tall stuff. But it is a big open hole. So if you're if you're a high handicapper, just kind of aim down the middle and hope for the best and you'll leave yourself you'll with a fine. shot in. You'll, you'll be fine here, yes. Well, hole number eight is uh, this is this is you're going into a monstrous forest on this. And I met a gentleman yes. last night who his parents used to own. Uh, Mr. Uh, he owns the uh, the farm on the tra left. Oh. the tractor company here in town. Oh, okay. I'm and we talked for almost an hour. And, oh, did you? And he said that his dad used to go in this forest yep. before this was a golf course, and they all played and everything. It was a really interesting talk, but right. hole number eight is just tight. We've made it a heck of a par five. Yeah, it's it's yeah. a great par five. It's one of our more scenic holes because you, you're going out of the link style and, and straight into the trees. Yep, yep. Straight into the chute. Um, it's a gettable par, par it's five. It's a grip and rip, man. It's, it's a very fair hole. Again, emphasis on putting it in the fairway here. Right. There's trees left, there's trees right. Um, but if you hit a good drive here, you'll have an iron into this par five, mm -hmm. and you can make a good birdie on this hole. And it's, I think this fairway, out of all of them, is is wide open enough. It is. That even if you miss hit it, you're going to be okay going in. It's it's really your second shot, what you're going to do with it. It is. There's there's a bunker guarding this green left. There's a bunker guarding this green right. We got a ton of bunkers out What's here. What's that so. big hill-like thing right next to it? It's, it's just kind of a mound there to one. It's a tough shot to if you miss get, there. Yeah, but two, ball. if you hit it there, your ball's not going to ricochet into the woods. It's True. kind of a berm, and it's going to stop your ball oh, and, 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 and be fair around it. Yeah. And and quite a quite a little dance on this green too. Yes, yes. It's it's another one with with a big berm in the middle and mm -hmm. emphasis on putting it where the flag is. So flag. It, it crowns in the middle. It crowns okay. in the middle. Okay. Yep. The, pat, the pin is usually back or front and just leave it on the right side of the green and you leave yourself a makeable putt. Well, hole number nine, you're in the trees. Still in the trees, And then yes. opening it up. So you can, uh, it works out good. A little dog like here, too. Yeah, this is one of my favorite tee shots. Really? Um, it's, it's an elevated tee shot. We don't get a lot of that in Ohio, right. so it's always cool to play. If you play mm -hmm. this hole from the black tees, you've got to hit out of the chute, which is a really cool look going into this fairway. Yep. There's a there's a fairway bunker here that's not fun. It's left, and it's right where a lot of people hit. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure, if you can hit it over it, go ahead and hit it over it. If not, make sure you hit right of this. And then it doesn't really give you a whole lot of break going into the green. There's a huge bunker guarding this green on the right. But if you hit a good tee shot, it's fair on you going yep, in. Yep, that's it. It really is. Um, the green, again, it, it, it's really from uh, back to front. The, the front, the back of this green is about six feet above the front of this green. Oh. So if the pin's up front and you're in the back, you're going to have a, a, a really right. fast putt yeah. going to the hole and it's going to break a time. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Well, and, and it's a great finishing hole on the front nine it there. It is. And brings you right back up. and. Uh, I, I think it's not that hard of a hole, so you're able to, you know, relax a little bit with it. Once you get it out there, you got to get it out there. Got to get it out there. Yes. Hit the iron yeah. Well. Again, it's a, it's a really big fairway, so so just make make sure you put an emphasis on at least keeping it in play here. Left is tall stuff. Right is our driving range. We get a lot of balls donated to the driving range from hole number nine. <laughs> we really do. So just keep it in play here, and you'll be fine. Hi, this is Dan Sutton here at Heather Downs for this week's Great Lakes Golf Tip of the Week. I want to talk to you today about some sand shots. Um, the least practice shot in all of golf. Ask yourself, when was the last time you were actually out practicing sand shots? Has it been too recently, was it? 
First thing you want to do when you get in a sand trap is get out of there. And people have a big uh, phobia about getting into the sand trap. And I see people have a tough time determining where the club should hit the sand at, uh, where they should uh, have their ball positioned at. Here's a couple things for you. You can see I've drawn a line here behind these balls. And as I've drawn this line behind the balls here, get yourself out somewhere where you can actually hit a practice shot. we got this nice uh, sand trap and uh, short game area here at Heather Downs. But the first thing I want you to do is get into a sand trap here and take a couple practice swings. As I draw this line here, I want you to try to get to where you can brush the sand consistently in the same spot. And if you can do this on a regular basis here, you should have no problem getting this ball out of the sand when you get in here. I see way too many people do one of these jobs and they hit four or five inches back behind where they should be hitting. Okay, a couple things here. The lower body from the waist down here, you got to keep yourself level. You can't be doing a lot of up and down here in the sand trap. So try to keep that lower body level, just feel a nice little pivot around the waist here. For myself here, stance, got myself well open, ball position is middle if not almost a little bit left of center. And then when I hit a sand shot here, I'm going to set my club, I'm going to hover over the sand about two inches behind the ball. Quick uh, question here for you, uh, when you hit a sand shot, do you look at the ball? No, you're looking at the part of the sand where you want your club to hit. So I got this line drawn in here, and as I go about hitting the shot here, I want the club to land about two inches behind the ball. You want to dig it right out of there, okay? So that wasn't too bad here. But line these things up, you can line them up 10 across here. Lower body quiet. Feet are open. We're going to swing along the path of our uh, shoulders here. And it's almost, I like to think of when you hit a sand shot, it's almost as if you're trying to slice the ball out of the sand. So one more time here. Hover your club over the sand here. It's a good little shot there. Okay. Another thought here for you. A sand shot is a lot like a long chip shot swing. Everybody knows I like to do the clock swing, 9 o'clock here, 3 o'clock here. Well, with sand shots, is it a 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock? Is it a 11 o'clock, 1 o'clock? Maybe even 12 o'clock to 12 o'clock. One of the big faults I see with golfers is they'll do one of these jabs, and they don't, oh, they don't follow through. Got to make sure you follow through, so give me a nice high finish. A couple more times here, lower body quiet feet open. I'm going to slice this ball out of here. I'm going to hit the sand two inches behind the ball. Good high finish on the follow through. Get into the sand trap. Hit yourself about ten of these. You'll be surprised how you create a little tempo and rhythm and as you get to yourself hitting these shots next time you're in a bunker here you're going to say hey, I got no problem with this shot here. But get out and practice this sand shot. It'll do you good here. This is Dan Sutton here at Heather Downs for a Great Lakes Golf Tip of the Week. Till next week, hit them straight. Hey golfers, come play Toledo's premier public course, Heather Downs Country Club, is where you belong in 2017. Heather Downs is a beautiful 18-hole layout with stunning views. Tee times are available seven days a week with great rates. Want to work on your game? Our driving range and practice center is the best place to groove your swing. Try individual lessons with golf director Dan Sutton. Clinics are forming now. Go to heatherdowns.com or call 419-385-0248. Heather Downs Country Club, where you belong in 2017. Cleaning your gutters can be dangerous. Take it from Marty. For 30 years, I've been climbing up that ladder, cleaning out those gutters. One time, I leaned the ladder up there, and the feet were on the deck. The deck was a little wet. Next thing I know, the ladder kicks out, and I'm hanging by the gutter, and I start yelling for help. After that occurrence, I called Gutter Helmet. Call Gutter Helmet for an estimate. 419-475-0000. Get Gutter Helmet today, and you'll never clean your gutters again. Keeping you out of the gutter. We're the gutter. A 
sound system from TAS Electronics, you've just got to move. TAS Electronics, it's hot. Do you ever drive around the neighborhoods just to look at the houses? I like spotting the ones that have been around the longest because they remind me of the amazing legacy I'm part of. Hi, I'm Marty Sutter, president of Genau Bank. For over 110 years, our bank has helped families buy and build their homes. And all that time, one thing hasn't changed. At Genau Bank, we believe that when we put the mortgage needs first, the rest takes care of itself. Genau Bank, taking your banking needs personally. Welcome back to Great Lakes Golf today here at beautiful Red Hawk run down in Finley. We've had, actually had the pleasure. I'm here with Anthony Brock. Uh, I was here probably before you were even born. Well, potentially. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that. But the first year that this was open, we were able to come down here back when everybody was building golf courses. Yes. And I always said this was going to be the one that would kind of just be that step up, like the legacy. Right. And you guys, you've got your areas and you've done quite good here and you know beautiful clubhouse and the food oh my goodness yeah we got a new menu this year really? um, we hired a new director of food and beverage her mm -hmm. name is amber terry she's yep. got a lot of great experience she's totally retooled our menu and um, we got a lot of great stuff on the menu she makes hand cut fries which are out of this world i'm a fry guy so they're they're here, really here he good goes. right yeah. before i get to eat lunch yeah. right our philly cheesesteak is awesome oh, the burger patty melt reuben we got a lot of good stuff wow. in there so you're on us today go in there and have whatever you want mike all right i look at it this way you know we we, we try so hard to bring you these things, but the only reason I do it is to eat the to eat. golf food. Yeah, we got a lot of good food in there. And so it's quick, stop too. And take so, you it know, is. when you're making your turn and, uh, you know, people are able to make the turn, you can get something quick and get back out there and uh, get on the back. Yeah, of the if you're on a busy day like like here today and, and, and every weekend when we have nice weather, the course is totally packed. Sure. Um, we encourage you to call on hole number nine, place your order, and when you come through, it'll be ready and waiting for you. You can grab your food, sit in there and eat, or just grab it and go. It's good stuff, too, and it's great. Uh, Hospitality here. That's yes. what it's all about. Yes. They're just great people. And uh, thank you. We're gonna head out on the back nine right yeah, now. Yeah, let's go the whole time. Yeah, I just had that hamburger. I gotta tell you. And and to be honest, I'm probably gonna show footage of whatever I eat. So, awesome. So cool. the, you'll Appreciate see it. it. I'll yeah. have her make it good for In you. In HD, yeah. folks. <laughs> We'll actually have smell-o-vision by next year. Awesome, yeah, that's got to be the next yeah, step. What else is there, right? That, right yeah. Exactly, <laughs> smell-o-vision's that. <clears throat> I can't believe I just now said that on network TV. Now you're distracted. Yeah. Uh, hole number 10 uh, starts off here on the uh, on the back nine, and uh, we're, uh, we're, we're actually, uh, this is kind of a long shooting hole. Yes, hole number 10 and 11 are both our, two of our longer par fours. Um, there's a bunker guarding this hole left. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're big, you can hit it over that. If you're not, just go ahead and aim to the right. A lot of grass on this too, right? A lot of grass. There's, there's plenty of room out to the right. right. If you miss right, the worst thing, you're on 18, the rough on the side of 18 or in gotcha. the fairway there, still leaves you a shot. And if you're left, you're on State Route 224, <laughs> and then that does happen, but we encourage you to uh, go ahead and stay right on the road here. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Right. But but as you get into this, once again, that elevated green area, that elevated everything green. comes up. It, it's it's really a big cool. green, but it's narrow. Right. Um, and again, this green is higher on the back than it is the front, so if the pin's up front, make sure and stay up there. There's a big bunker guarding this green on the right. Uh -huh. If you hit it in that bunker again, you're six, eight feet below the hole, leaving yourself a tough sand save. Um, so emphasis on hitting the green. There is some rough to the left of it. So if you do need the bailout, bail out left on this green and leave yourself a pretty fair chip to get up and down for par. But hole number 11 stays right in that. You're still going down the chute right here on 224. Yeah, see, both of these par fours, hole number 10 and 11, are over 450 yards. So they're, they're tour length par fours. Um, hit a good drive here. Um, like hole six, um, the right of this fairway dives down, um, and you'll be well below the hole. So you right. want to stay on the fairway. There's, there's, there's a little rough to the left here. So if you want to bail out, bail out that way. There's a fairway bunker on the right. You want to grab another club in this in a second with it being down in the gully? Yeah, if, if you're down in the gully, it's another club back okay. up the hill okay. to the green okay. here. But it leaves yourself a really tough shot if you're down there. There's a bunker that really guards from down there. So if you miss down right, not only are you penalized for being down there, it's a tough shot into the green with a bunker guarding. If you hit it to the left here, it's a fair look into the green. Don't really have any bunker problem unless you really block it out to the right going into the green here. Well, at least both of these these two holes are just, you really got to crank on the back nine here. And yeah, the, starting off the back nine, you need, you need some good drives. If so. you can score here, man, you're you're in good shape. Yeah, yeah, scoring here, your game will travel well if you're, <laughs> if you're a member here, that's for sure. A hole number 12 is, <laughs> I think, one of the prettiest holes here. I it's love just, this hole. I really it always, yeah. It's just so pretty. We got some nice shots of this with the drone here, but yeah. dog leg left at its best. 
Dog leg left, yes. There's you a big still want to hit straight, though. You still want to hit straight. Yeah, it's right. a deceiving okay. hole. We got some holes that Arthur Hills is in. They're disappearing fairways here. Right. So from the tee box, it looks like there's a big bunker, but over that bunker is all fairway. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and get a good number. Hit it over that bunker. If you do hit it over that bunker, you're in great shape to hit a shot into this hole. It's a very fair hole with a good tee shot. The further left you are, the further left you are, the better. further left, the more of the bunker you can carry, the shorter shot Perfect. in here. And the, and the green is very fair. You'll you'll be above it here. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe a half a club less going into the green. Um, there is a bunker left here, but it's not well below the hole. It's on the same level of the hole. So if you hit it in that bunker, you got a good chance for a sand save. But the green's very fair. You got a crick in there too, a real small crick. There right? is a crick here. Yeah. Yes, and it okay. can come in play if you hit a big tee shot. Uh -huh. I've had tee balls roll in there. If you hit a real poor second shot, it can go into that crick right. too. If you hit a good tee shot, it's not really in play. Right. Just block it out of your memory and go ahead and hit at this green. Um, it's a narrow green, but it's big. Um, emphasis, again, in the middle of the screen, there's a mound. So if the pin's on the left, you want to hit there. If the pin's on the right, you want to hit there. Just to leave yourself a reasonable, makeable putt. The well, hole number 13 is, uh, you know, you've got you've got some beautiful houses uh, right there, but you're you're constantly going uphill with this. Yes, one. you're go you're going back up a hill here on 13. Um, it, it's a more reasonable length par par four here. Mm -hmm. So if you hit a good drive, you'll have a wedge in your hand going in. The problem is there's bunkers in the fairway. There's a lot of bunkers. Yeah, there's there's a bunker short in the fairway. If if you don't hit a good ball, you end up in that. There's a bunker just beyond that. There's a little bit of a hitting patch of fairway between two bunkers. If you hit it there, it's in great shape. Right. If you miss left, there's another fairway bunker. So again, here at Red Hawk, emphasis on hitting a good tee shot. If you do, it's very fair. You'll have a short iron into the screen. Not a ton of undulation on this screen. The back portion drops off the map a little bit. So if the pin's back there, it's going to leave a tough putt. Um, but if the pin's in the middle or in the front of the screen, it's a very fair hole with a good tee shot. It really is. Uh, that's another one of those pretty holes. And, uh, Got to uh, speak with uh, some of the people that lived around there. They yeah. absolutely love it. And, uh, Great views from this oh. hole and hole 14 and the next one here. Um, if you're a big hitter on this hole, it's, it's one that you can go for off the tee. You, you can make it to the green. I think breathtaking is a word that has to be used here for hole number 14. 14's a great golf hole, it really is. Gotta be honest with you though, I, I, I would not fly that drone over all that wall. I would try it, I got some beautiful shots of I it. Understand. You saw it, yeah. but I, I, I got up to the edge of that water and I had it sitting there and I'm like, I just can't do it. When you get more comfortable with it, <laughs> yeah, you experiment yeah, with yeah. it more, it's an expensive and an awesome piece of equipment, as you guys it, can see from yeah, the shots it's here. It's, it's a great it's piece of equipment. Incredible. But yeah, 14 is, is just a great par 3. It really is. From the tips, it plays long. It's a 185-yard hole from back there. All force carry over the water. Um, huge undulation on this oh, green. Yeah. If, if the pin's in the back, you got to be back there. If the pin's up front, you got to be back there. Otherwise, you're going to have a huge breaking putt. Um, if, if you're on the back of the green, the pin's front, you just got to tap the ball to get it started down the hill. Um, the only good miss here is long, and that's not even a good miss. There's, there's water guarding left, water guarding right, water guarding short, and just a small bunker, you can leave it in on the right, which is still a tough up and down here. And those trees, you got those huge trees, you know, outlining yes. the back end of it here. So, you know, if you wind up, you know, hitting a, a, a sh short one going through there, you're going to have a tough shot coming back. It's going it to be won't tough. Stop. Yeah, yeah, but the view from the tee oh. box is incredible. And if you don't think about the water, it's not there. Exactly. So just pick a good number and hit the green, and you'll have a really good time on this hole. I think I'll just stick with flying the drone. I, I'm go. pretty good at that. When we'll it we'll comes get you to out there that. soon. Yeah. <laughs> now, hole number 15 here is once again, these bunkers set themselves up in this link style course. I mean, they this do. is where you're in the hardcore link style of the course. It is. Um, it's, it's another hole that's, that's a little bit blind from the tee because there's a bunker and then over that bunker again, like hole number 12 is all fairway. Right. So pick a good number over the bunker. If you're long, go ahead and bomb it over the bunker. There's fairway over there. Mm -hmm. If you're not long enough to do it, that's fine. There's plenty of room on the right of this bunker to leave yourself a good shot in. So just hit your tee shot to the right. As long as you're not in this bunker here, you'll have a really fair shot into this green. Um, the crick comes into play here again. Um, so you want to make sure and hit it over that. It, if, as long as you hit a good second shot, the creek's not really in play. You actually will be able to find your ball in this creek. You can find your ball in this creek. It, it's it's not a it's not a river. It's it, just a creek. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so you can find your ball if you hit it in there. But again, you don't want to play it out of there unless you got a lot of dough on the line. Yeah. Um, there is a bunker guarding this green to the right. Um, it's kind of an L-shaped green. You play for dough, I don't. Yeah, <laughs> as much as I can, as much as I can. Like, anytime you want to go at it, I'll oh, give you your oh, blows and we can oh, go. Oh, here we go. The handicap system makes it fair, yeah, right? It does. So, it actually yeah. does. It but this green has, has a big L-shape to it. Um, we can tuck the pin back behind the bunker, which makes it really tough. If the pin's up on the left or the front portion of the green, it's an easy shot in. Um, just make sure you get a good number and you can get a birdie here. 
Hole number 16, uh, par five. It, 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 this, I, I mean, this is a, I, I don't see this as a scoring hole. I see it's this a really more good just get five. through this hole. Get through this yeah. hole, yes, that's, that's a good piece of advice. There's a big bunker left here. If you're really big, you, you can try and carry this bunker. I don't encourage it. Okay. Um, start it right out of the bunker if you can work a draw here. Start it right out of the bunker, hit a draw, you'll be in excellent shape. Um, there's bailout, plenty of bailout room, big fairway here again. You can bail out to the right of the bunker, leave yourself a good layup. Again, if you're gonna lay up on this hole, I encourage you laying up short of the creek. Um, take it out of play. There is plenty of fairway on the left um, side of this green, um, just over the creek. Um, if you wanna lay up over there, you can. Um, but this is a hole you can go for two on. If you hit a big drive, um, there's some mounds blocking visually from the green. Mm -hmm. Get a good look at it, and you can have a three wood or a hybrid into this green. Um, if you're gonna miss, miss left, because the creek does come into play right of this one. You know, I've never shot a golf course in, in the evening. I've never, yeah. and and I was, I had a pesky cloud all afternoon, and I was a okay. little worried about it, but it looks beautiful. Yeah. And just as I was taking that thing off on 17, it broke through that cloud lining. And it, it I, folks, it's, I, oh, it, it's it's kind of it's kind of like Harry Potter looking. It's the just evening gorgeous. is my favorite time to play golf. I just mm -hmm. love the views, the shadows coming from the sure. trees on some of these holes. Um, it just lights up the course. Oh, it really does. Amen. Amen. And 17 is a great par three here. Mm -hmm. um, about a half a club up the hill. Right. It's deceiving because it really is a little bit uphill. Um, there's a bunker left. There's a bunker right. Um, a little short is a good miss. A little long is a good miss. Keep yourself out of that bunker on the right here. Um, it leaves for another eight eight feet below the hole, tough sand save. But if you hit this green here, you got a good chance at birdie. Um, two weeks ago, I had my third hole in one on this hole. All right, so buddy. So it's a reasonable <laughs> hole. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, even from the tips, it's a seven or an eight iron in. If you're if you're a high handicapper playing the white tees, uh -huh. 140 yard hole. It's very fair. Just hit the green and you'll get a good look at birdie. Oh, it's just just it's so pretty. I'm I'm sitting watching the monitor the whole time, like oh my goodness. You got some girl. great oh, shots at this wow, hole in the, in the wow. next one too in the evening. It looks awesome. Same thing with hole number 18. Yeah. I'll tell you, you uh, you had that sun just right where you needed it here. But I mean, this is British Open at its best yeah right this is this is a link style par five this is a great par five it's it's a it's a very long hole there's a bunker a fairway bunker to the left here um your miss is right Right. You can miss this hole a mile right, and you'll still leave yourself a shot here. Um, very few people left, can go. Left, it's gone. Left, it's gone. Yeah, left, okay. left okay. of the bunker. There's tall. There's the neighborhood, and then there's tall grass, and then the tall grass out here. It's tough to find your ball. If you can, you can play it. Um, just keep a good eye on where it goes. But if you miss right here, you have to leave yourself a good layup. Very few people can go for this green in two, mm -hmm. and if you do, it's a heck of a tough shot. Oh yeah. There's two bunkers guarding this green low right. There's another bunker guarding this green to the left. I emphasize uh, just a good layup. Pick a good number if you like to hit a 115 yard shot in, 125 yard shot in, leave yourself a good numbered layup here because the green is elevated and it's a tough green. You really have to pick a good number and hit close to the flag to have a good look at birdie. Going for this in two, a lot of guys can do it, but you leave yourself in a bunker, right. you leave yourself behind the green, tough, tough chip shots in. I'd rather have a 100 yard shot in and try and make it spin and hold the green. Hey golfers, come play Toledo's premier public course, Heather Downs Country Club, is where you belong in 2017. Heather Downs is a beautiful 18-hole layout with stunning views. Tee times are available seven days a week with great rates. Want to work on your game? Our driving range and practice center is the best place to groove your swing. Try individual lessons with golf director Dan Sutton. Clinics are forming now. Go to heatherdowns.com or call 419-385-0248. Heather Downs Country Club, where you belong in 2017. Stop struggling with the big box stores. Choose Gladio. A hardware store, yet so much more. Your home improvement answer store. A place to design your interior space. A professional and friendly smiling face. Everything you need for your home. And Gladio is locally owned. When the power goes out, your life is disrupted. Heat, air conditioning, refrigeration, phones, all gone. Want to take back control? A Generac Home Standby Generator protects your home against power outages every second of every day, all year long, automatically, whether you're home or away. Control your power, control your life. 
with a Generac Home Standby Generator. For a free estimate, call Schneider Sons Electric, 419-691-8284. There is only one place where you'll find scenic golf at affordable prices. Fallen Timbers Fairways. This golf course offers some of the best golf in Northwest Ohio for any skill level. At Fallen Timbers, they can help you plan for your next outing or event, or even improve your skills with their talented golf instructors. With their exceptional rates, Fallen Timbers is your first choice for great golf. FallenTimbersFairways.com. Easy to find, fun to play, right off Route 24 in Waterville. FallenTimbersFairways.com. Fallen Timbers Fairways. Well, Anthony, uh, number one, you fed me well. Good. Number two, uh, I, D Dave worked on my golf game a little bit here, and it's stupid little stuff that yeah. he just said, whoa, 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 hold on. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, guess what? I'm hitting my seven iron 150 yards, 160 yards again. Yeah, so David's a great golf instructor. He has, he really has an, a good eye for the golf swing. So I encourage anyone who wants to get lessons to contact David Brim here at Red Hawk Run. He's our director of adult golf here, does a good job. Hey, if he can help Mike out, I'll tell you what, he can help a lot of people in this world, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know, it's it really does get sad because you know we do have the big Aurora outing. You played in it with Great us last calls, year, yeah. and uh, uh, the, the people from uh, uh, WTOL were the uh, victors. We were the winners the year before that. Yeah. And you know they got kind of punk on us, and they've sure. been sending us some emails. I'm just teasing. Robert Shields and Chris Vickers, they're great guys. But we got to win this year. Man. Sure. We'll see if we can get you. I uh, would love to have you. Give me again. a call. I got the bat phone handy. Yeah. You know the number, so give me a call. And and Mike, all you got to do is play more golf. You got yeah. a heck of a swing. You're a big guy. You just got to take some time and dedicate it to yourself. Now. Big skinny guy. Big skinny guy. That now. makes for a good turn in your golf swing. All you got to do is single? play more golf. Yeah. yeah, single guy. Yeah. Here's my telephone. Yeah. No, I will, no, no God. Plug God. yourself. That's yeah. a good thing. <laughs> See, I hang around with these young punks and they get me in trouble. It's, you know, that, we try our best. Uh, yeah, we try our best. It doesn't take much from us. <laughs> well, that's one good thing. You come out here, everybody is just so cordial. They're so nice. And all the people that have come up and talked to us, I, I, it's just a great community here. And it that's, really is. Finley is. I mean, my doctor, Todd Leslie, is yes. from here in Finley. And his daughter is part of your first team program. Yes, Actually, she is. Actually, son, too. John's yeah. involved, too. We got a lot of kids in the first team. It, it's really a privilege to, to do this program the yep. way we do it here. And as you saw yesterday, we make this thing as fun as we can for oh, the yeah. kids. Golf for young kids can be kind of monotonous and boring. We take that out of it, okay, sure. Mike? What we do, as you saw on the on the range yesterday, I had pinatas out there for hitting targets. <laughs> you get the pinata, you get the candy that comes right, out. Right, right, right. Some of our other targets where we do a lot with Van Buren golf. A lot of my assistant coaches were from there. Mm -hmm. We got a big Van Buren metal target. If you hit that, it makes a really loud noise. The kids get fired up. Um, we also had a TV out there. Wow. Try and hit golf balls at a TV. The kids always ask, "What do I?" We always give them prizes. Gotcha. If you hit this target, you get a T-shirt. Hit uh -huh. that, you get a you get a, a first tee hat or a candy bar. So they're asking, "What do I get if I hit the uh, if I hit the TV?" I said, like, "You get to break a TV." <laughs> that should be well, enough. Yes, you get to break a TV. Break the TV. That's a good thing. But with that, we instill the core values. Right. Um, We've and it's not through. just about golf. It's, it's not, not just about golf. Not at all. One, it's about having fun. It, um, yes. Two, it's about driving home the core values that the first tee is, is really all about. It mm -hmm. really is. This week, it's honesty. So we talk with the kids. Um, on Tuesday, we had them on the putting green playing a nine-hole course. Had them playing in foursomes. In golf, you have to enforce your own rules. There's right. not a referee out there when, when you're playing golf. So we enforce keeping score. Uh -huh. And keeping an honest score. If you get a 12, write down a 12. Right. Um, if you don't do that, um, all you're doing is disrespecting yourself, your playing partners, and the game. Um, this carries over to home life um, more than you would think, really. Being honest at home. Don't tell your parents you did your homework if you didn't do your homework. Um, be nice to your brothers and sisters. Be honest at school. Honesty is a great core value. It's so important to the game of golf, sure. as you know. It really is. Play the ball as it lies was another thing that we did. Had the kids over in the rough next to the driving range dropping their ball and just played as it lies. Don't fluff your ball. 
Um, no foot wedges, play the ball as it lies. It's very important to the game of golf. And very important we teach it at a young age so when these kids get older, they're not out playing you and I for money and using <laughs> foot wedges all the time, right? No, but it is. It's, it's very important mean, to teach though. it to the kids at a, at, a, at a young age. Well, it's just such a good thing. I think the first tee program came in at a great time with golf because you know, it, let's be honest, you know, we need more golfers out here playing and, and we it's, do. It, it's good to have the kids and, and seeing the excitement in their faces as they're playing a game, it's just incredible. And, uh, and Mr. Cook and all of you guys have just done such a wonderful job out here. The Cook family is obviously instrumental to everything we do here at Red Hawk Running and with Cook Golf and the first tee. Um, Kathy Cook, uh, Jim's mm -hmm. daughter, John's sister, um, has had a great deal to do with the first tee since the first tee started. Um, she literally wrote, and I have it up in my office, the original manual to the first tee, I have it handwritten oh my in my goodness. office from Kathy Cook. So I have her to call and pull off of, and she is the most enthusiastic and fun golf coach that there is on the planet Earth. There, she's a wonderful she, lady. She she does a lot for the kids, and she loves working with them. And it rubbed off on me. I'm very passionate about working with these kids at a young level. And we had John Cook out last year to do a clinic, mm -hmm. try and get him back this year. John Cook is literally the busiest person I know. He's playing on Champions Tour about every right. week, and when he's not playing on the PGA Tour, he's doing the morning drive on Golf Channel or yep. Golf or Golf. Now Central, all these shows on Golf Channel. So tune in, watch John Cook. Um, he's 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 a great deal to do with the first tee and Red Hawk run here in Findlay, Ohio. Well, I'll tell you, uh, th this course is just in great shape. And uh, before we get done with the first tee here, yeah. uh, middle of, we're the first week of July and we're uh, shooting the show. Yeah. If people if kids and parents want to still bring their kids out. And we never close registration to the first tee. We'll take perfect. any kid that wants to come up any day they want to come. Fantastic. The first tee does run into August. I will do a fall program. Haven't announced the dates yet. I'll figure that out okay. as we move forward here. It'll but be on your website. It'll be on our website, www.redhawkrun.com. Um, there'll be links to sign up uh, to the first tee on our website. There's a page dedicated to the first tee with pictures and everything that we got going on. Perfect. Um, but yeah, if your kid still wants to be involved in the program, bring them out, sign up. Uh, the first tee Lake Erie, Adam Rennie um, out at Inverness. Um, we do a lot all over. Um, there's, there's, there's eight program locations. There's some in Toledo. There's ours here in Finley. So yeah, reach out. Just Google the first tee of Lake Erie and you can find a program location to fit your kid in and get them started in youth golf. Now is the best time to start. Amen. Amen. Well, uh, if you're uh, coming from the Toledo area, you're just going to come down 75. We actually take a little little detour there at 162 you get off the exit 162 yeah that, and then come up that way yeah it's easy to get to red hawk yeah. and really it's a straight That's what shot google maps will take you right yeah that it's way. a straight shot coming from Toledo. just jump on 75 and head south you can't miss it if you're coming from columbus Jump Same on 23, thing. head north. You yep, can't miss it. Yep, yep. You, it all ends in the Red Hawk Run. Stop by and uh, get a good round of golf in here. It's really a great course. Man, I thank you for your time. You've it's been, a privilege uh, having you down here, Mike. It always is. We, we've become really good people and good friends and play yes. the game together. And that's what this game's all about and uh, making new acquaintances. And uh, I know before this week's over, I'll be playing this course. And uh, don't forget, we are on 106.5. The ticket Saturday mornings from 8 to 9. We've got the marathon coverage coming up. And you're, of course. I'm going to invite you up if you'd like to come sit in with us. We're Saturday and Sunday from 8 to noon live at the Marathon. Oh, of course. Yeah, <laughs> so, I'd love to get there and talk So we'd love to have you there. Classic, we had Natalie yeah. Gulbis on last year. Yeah. And, uh, we're really excited. We had the girls come on and be there, too. Well, a lot so. of those girls have a lot to do with the first tee, too. Oh, yeah. they've, they've done a lot. Lydia Coda has done a lot with the first yep, tee. Yep. And she's, number one, it's amazing what she's done. For youth golf, her being as young as she is and playing the kind of game that she has, it's really incredible to watch. I, I, I'm so excited. It's going to be a lot of fun and uh, get your tickets and uh, if you need some tickets just go over to our Great Lakes Golf Today on Facebook and just kind of private message me and say hey Mike I need some tickets because uh, we'll get we'll we'll set you up as much as we possibly can yeah and, uh, come on out support the LPGA it's really a, those, <laughs> these girls are yep, incredible yep. golfers yep, they yep. really are uh, we we appreciate you watching and hey folks we'll see you next week with a brand new show right here on Great Lakes Golf Today